Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Lake MRI, and now I'd like to show you some basic case on the anterior cruciate ligament anatomy. This one actually I struggled a little bit, but then it clicked, and so I'd like to share uh, the thought process. So this is a soccer player born in 1982, and uh, pain in the knee, and we see right here the ACL. So if we look straight forward, everybody knows the medial collateral ligament, lateral collateral ligament complex. Here's the posterior cruciate ligament over here. The ACL is right here. You can see the fiber. So on this view, you say, wait, that looks pretty good. It looks like it's intact. On the sagittal view, there's no pivot shift contusion. You can see over here the lateral tibia, lateral femur. I always like to take a line from the back of the lateral femur and drop it down. If, as long as it's pretty doggone close here, I know that this is not shifted forwards. And you have to go way out to the side, way over here. If you come over here, it may... Uh, not look the same as if you go way over here far laterally. So I get way near the lateral cut, drop that, and I'm like, well, that's pretty close, not significantly shifted. And then we go towards the midline here and you see the ACL, does it parallel Blumensatz line? And you say, okay, well, here is something, and here's Blumensatz line, the back of the femur here, and it looks like it is parallel or even steeper than Blumensatz line, so that looks like that passes the test of the um, normal angle of the ACL. But something is a little funny and it looks a little weird down here distally. Uh, but due to slice selection, that could be just related to that. But it looks like there may be a partial tear here, but the proximal fibers look like they're intact. And there's some bright stuff in front, but uh, it's commonly seen. And there's something else in front here is a, one of the problems. There's a little area right here that is curious. So what is this thing? It kind of looks like arthrofibrosis if they had had an ACL surgery, but they have not had that. But it looks similar. Here's a T2-weighted image. Usually if there's a problem, I look on T2s. And it, um, if you can see it intact, you're in pretty good shape. It may be fogged out on some of the other sequences, especially the T1s. It be all foggy, but on the T2s, it usually looks darker, and you have a fighting chance better. So it comes down, looks halfway decent. Again, we see this area of darkness here that looks like it's real. And so the next thing is the axial view. I think axial may be my favorite thing to look for the ACL. When I first started my career, I didn't look at the axials very much at all for the ACL, but later on I realized that that uh, may be the most sensitive thing. So if we go way to the very, very top, the ACL attaches pretty doggone high up here, higher than you'd imagine. It's very flat and broad way up here. You barely start to see it really high in the intercondylar notch here. And if we go down, down, you can start to see it here, flatten really high. A lot of times you see it torn right here, right where the attachment. So this is one of the main things. Start way up high and look at that first one or two cuts. And you say, okay, that looks pretty good. There is the anterior cruciate ligament right at the femoral attachment. It looks good right there. So maybe things are okay. And we come down, down, and then right here you say, wait. Between here and here there's a little linear uh, longitudinal tear there. And if we come down, then there's one component. So it looks like there's two components here, but equal in size. And when we go down one, there's one component. So it looks like maybe 50% of the volume had just disappeared between here and here. So it looks like they do have a tear of the proximal ACL. A little bit down further than we typically see it. And that thing that's poking out forwards here, it must be that other component that is torn is flipped forwards right here. Looking at a coronal image here, we're going to go forwards, 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 forwards. And then here this... Funny looking areas, I, again, I imagine this is uh, that 50% component that's torn and flipped forwards into the central joint. Now, patients who have uh, an ACL that's torn or partially torn like this and it folds forwards, they have a difficult time with full knee extension. So if they had uh, a lack of full knee extension, it may be related to this getting caught in here. And just as an incidental aside here, the patient had a small tear of the medial meniscus root. Then if we got right here, you can see right there, right where the meniscus root attaches, the, there's a partial thickness of longitudinal tear, and there's no loss of hoop stress. The rest of the meniscus looks good. So that is a case on the ACL. Thank you very much.